Hi, uh, I wanted to do a little video about how to put together your telescope. Hopefully you got it in your par care package. Uh, I'm going to go over the parts that you have to have to um, make your telescope. And hopefully you have them all. If you don't, please contact us right away so we can get it to you. We do have some extras. Um, here we go. Here's the parts. So you need uh, two different size red caps. It, there's a foam, black foam piece. There's um, two lenses. And you can almost see that mine has some fingerprints on it already. So you wanna be careful not to get fingerprints on your lens. Make sure you hold it from the side. And you can also use this um, tissue paper that comes with the lens to um, hold your lenses and not put fingerprints on them like I did. Because um, that, of course, will disrupt your view. And the lenses can be scratched, so be careful with that too. You should also have a little spacer, a, a cardboard washer, a spacer and a cardboard washer, and then um, two different size um, cardboard tubes, one that fit inside each other, one small, one big. And let's get started. So the first thing you need is the large size um, red cap. And you're gonna use this larger lens. So the red cap and the larger lens here. And they want you to uh, put the lens in you're gonna put this this way, and you're gonna put the lens in so that the rounded side faces down. And one way you can tell is if you put it on the table and you tap it, if it moves, then you're on the rounded side. Uh, if you're on the other side, oh, it's not gonna move, right? So you want, again, you want the rounded side down. So uh, I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna put it right in my, um, red cap there. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my um, larger tube in, right down on top of it. Okay. Large tube down on top. Lens down in there. You can have a little look through it. Yep, definitely some fingerprints on there. I have to take care of that later. Okay. Um, the next piece is this little foam, black foam piece, and you're going to take this, um, is this, this is a spacer, okay, and you're going to shove this spacer all the way down in until it touches the table, okay, so it's flat on the table, and that's just, um, making sure it's the right distance for the lens. Okay, and then we'll put the uh, lens in. Again, this is very important that you don't touch that lens at all. Um, use, your, use your tissue. Sorry about my bad camera work. And push it all the way down onto the spacer. So it's all the way down in there. And that should do that, nice, okay. The next part is you take the smaller tube and you're gonna shove it down right on top of the foam. So again, we got the spacer, we got the foam, we got the spacer, we got the lens, and then we're putting the cardboard tube on top. And again, you can kinda take a look through there. Oh yeah, there's a lens in there, good job. Okay, so, uh, Next part, we uh, use this cardboard washer. Um, put it right on top there. Just hold everything in. And then finally, the red cap goes on top. And then, uh, this is not in the instructions, oddly, but you put this down inside here. Um, hard to do with one hand. You put that smaller tube inside, and then that's kind of like your focus. Okay, so then you should have a working telescope there. 
um, what kind of telescope is this? This is a refracting telescope. Um, first developed in the 1600s and um, later perfected by Galileo. Uh, some people also call it a spyglass. Okay, just like the pirates have, right? Um, and I wanted to show you a little diagram here because the first thing you're gonna notice um, when you put your eye on this telescope is that your image is upside down and that's that doesn't mean you did anything wrong. Um, it's actually how this works. So you will have an upside down image, but it will be, you'll be able to see it like it's closer up. So here's a diagram of what the light rays are doing. And it's a little bit off, but pretty good. So if you had, if you're looking at a person or a planet, say the moon or something, um, and this is the top, then the light ray from the top is coming into that um, first lens and it because of the dent, uh, the changing in density of the materials, so the medium from the glass, the um, air to the glass, you get a refraction or a bend that bends it down this way, okay? And then the middle one, of course, is gonna go straight through, but then the bottom one, again, is gonna refract up, and somewhere right in here, where this upside down guy is, um, you will have your image focus. Um, and then what comes, then it hits the next lens, the light from that image hits the next lens, and again, it kind of refracts through the lens and bends it straight for your eye. And now you're seeing an upside down image, if that makes sense. So the light coming in, um, being focused and flipping. And um, it, will, it will appear to be much closer than it actually is when you then look through it. And hopefully you get to use it. The sky right now is very, uh, very cloudy, right? So, um, but hopefully it will clear up in the next few days and we'll be able to use our telescopes. Good luck. Thanks.